Good morning, MGV. It's Mrs. Lark, and it's uh, Monday. It's been a rainy weekend and a little rainy this morning, too. I'm going to ask you to begin the day with me like we usually begin it, and that's to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. And today, boys and girls, I'm gonna ask you to think about the teachers and staff at MGV who are missing you as much as you are missing them. Thank you. This morning, we're gonna change up our patriotic song. We're in a new week. It's been 11 days since we've been out of school. So I thought today might be a great day to sing You're a Grand Old Flag. So please join me. You're a grand old flag, you're a high flying flag, and forever in peace may you wave. You're the emblem of the land I love, the home of the free and the brave. Every heart beats true for the red, white, and blue, where there's never a boast or brag. But should old acquaintance be forgot, keep your eye on the grand old flag. Wonderful. Boys and girls, um, it looks like we're going to be away from school until at least April 15th, um, as per uh, the governor. Our governor is Mary, uh, Andrew Cuomo. Mario Cuomo was the governor a long time ago when I was young. Um, and Andrew Cuomo is the governor presently. Um, so we're going to be home and we're going to be working from home uh, for quite a while. So listen for a robocall uh, today from me uh, to your families. Uh, if you haven't gotten on your teacher's Google Classroom yet, it's really important that you do that. Every single one of our classroom teachers have a Google Classroom. So um, you should be able to get on through uh, your class link that you used to use at school. If you need any help with this, please email your teachers or if your teacher has Class Dojo or if they have a Remind, please ask your family to reach out so that you can hop on and get to doing some reading and math. It's really, really important that we start doing that. Um, it looks like we'll be out of school about 22 days by the time uh, April 15th rolls around. So you working on your reading and math is really important. Now, besides doing reading and math, you should also be having a little fun and exercise out there. Um, I know that it's been raining, so uh, today we're gonna exercise your brain a little bit with some trivia. Those of you who know me very well know I love Disney, so my question today is a little Disney trivia that you may have to research a little bit. Disney's very first full-length animated film, which was the very first ever full-length animated film, was Snow White. And the Academy Awards recognized uh, Walt Disney for this special achievement with a special Oscar. And the Oscar looked a certain way, very different than all the other award statues that uh, they had given out. So I want you to tell me if you can figure out what was different about the Oscar that was given to Walt Disney for uh, his very first animated film, Snow White. If uh, in your research, you can also tell me who presented it to him. Uh, she was a child star at the time in the 1930s. Um, that actually would be a bonus. So if you want to send the answer to my trivia question, you can email me. You can post it on uh, my Google Classroom if this is where you're watching it. Or you can uh, post it in the comments below on YouTube if you're watching me that way. So I'd love to know what you find out on your little research about the very first full-length animated film, Snow White by Disney and the Academy Awards. Hmm. I know you can do it. Have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you tomorrow.